Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So over the last couple of months, Google has been rolling out more rounded corners and more material you changes to the Google Chrome web browser for desktop. And, uh, and this is referred to as the Chrome refresh for this year, 2023. And I have posted quite um, a lot of content previously. So if you want more info regarding the Chrome refresh for 2023, just do a search on the channel. Now, just another quick update video, just to let you know about two more uh, changes that Google is making in regards to Chrome Refresh 2023 for this year. And um, what we're focusing on today are two changes that they are bringing to the extensions and the extensions menu. Now in Chrome Canary, which is a preview version of the browser, if I currently click on the extensions button, we can see now that the first change is that um, it's taken on a more kind of longer width and a more elongated rectangular look and feel. And also we get this, no extensions need access to this site dialog. So that's the first change uh, that um, Google now is testing in Chrome Canary uh, in regards to the extensions menu um, regarding the Chrome refresh for 2023. And uh, if we head over to the stable version, just to do a quick comparison, if I currently click on the extensions button in the toolbar in Chrome stable, we can see that things look a little bit different and if we head back to the Canary version, you can see that that's the new design changes that will be coming. Now, sticking with Chrome Canary, and um, if I just head over to my uh, YouTube channel as an example, just to demonstrate the next change regarding extensions. If I head up to the extensions button and I disable and block all extensions on this site as an example, yeah, we can see we get a new dialog now to apply your updated settings to the site. You have to reload this page. So you now have to reload that web page or that website for um, those extensions now to be blocked on the site. And if you want to uh, uh, reverse the process um, and head back and enable all extensions for that particular site, you now have to reload the web, that web page once again. So extensions can request access to the site. So to apply your updated settings to the site, reload the page and the reverse happens. So you have to once again um, reload that web page and that website to now have all those extensions enabled once again on that website. So those are just two um, changes that are currently being tested in Chrome Canary, which are not available in the stable version. And both of these, as mentioned, are been tested in regards to the Chrome refresh for this year, 2023. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.